An officer injured while on the job is opening up about the crash that could have taken his life. Now a St. Louis charity is coming to the aid of the officer and three of his colleagues. Five on your side's Brent Solomon joins us now with those details. Officer Brian Hayes recognizes the blessing in being alive. He and his partner are recovering from home two months after the crash on I-64. It happened two days before two other St. Louis officers were shot in a separate incident. The last thing I saw, I said to myself before the car hit me, I looked right at it, it was like, oh crap, I'm dead. Miraculously, Officer Brian Hayes lives to tell the story. He was training a fellow officer just out of the academy when a driver struck them here on I-64 in Boyle in January. They were responding to a separate crash at the time. You can't even move out the way. It was so fast. He's home on crutches, recovering from multiple injuries, awaiting word if he'll have to go back into surgery. His message to drivers? Oh, just slow down and move over if you see emergency lights. Too many people get hit, too many... Uh, not just police officers, you got motel workers get killed on the highway. Just, just slow down and move over. Despite it all, the officer is still serving. Hayes got word a teenager was in need of a bicycle. He found a donor and helped to have it delivered to her. Me as a police officer, my ultimate goal is, is um, to leave people in a better position than I find them. Now, an area charity that Officer Hayes is involved with wants to help him, his partner, and two other Metro officers who were shot going after a potential homicide suspect. You know, these guys, they don't get to work. Uh, they can't do their secondary. They can't do their overtime. But the bills still keep coming in. The Budweiser Guns and Hoses upcoming hold-down fundraiser is next month, and it's already sold out. Organizers hope to raise $10,000 for all four officers. We can't make them feel better, but we can certainly help reduce that financial burden. Well, that holdown will happen next month, and organizers are looking for donations for a live and silent auction to help them reach their fundraising goal. We've placed information for you on how to get involved on KSDK.com. Michelle. Thanks so much, Brent.